All right, good morning, students. Thank you very much for coming out this morning for the 2021 induction ceremony for the National Junior Honor Society. Before we begin, let's all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, liberty, liberty and justice for all. So again, welcome students, some faculty members, and certainly virtually, I want to welcome some parents, grandparents, friends, anybody else that may be watching us. I'm very happy that we're actually here in person today. I would tell you that originally we were going to do this virtually, and a big round of applause for your advisor, Mrs. Lori Sammons, for convincing me to do this in person. As you probably know, I'm Mr. Cosmer, I'm your middle school principal, and today I'm proud to honor 64 eighth graders into this special induction ceremony. The purpose of this ceremony is to induct middle school students into the National Junior Honor Society who have qualified in the five areas, scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. These students have shown high academic achievement with an overall 90% or above average in the seventh grade. The application process required each candidate to document their service and leadership to both community and school. Students were required to perform 30 hours of community service as well as hand in a letter of intent. There is a requirement for continuing service to school and the community in order to receive recognition as members in good standing at the formal awards ceremony in June. Students must also maintain a passing overall average in all eighth grade classes. In reviewing applications, this group of students reported an impressive list of service to both school and community. That list included assisting neighbors and relatives with yard work and snow removal, babysitting for families, church groups, and community organizations, collecting donations for several organizations, including the Salvation Army, food drives, and local pet shelters, providing tutoring services for younger students, assisting at various religious functions, working at various sporting events, working at local animal shelters, participating in the Adopt a Highway program, raising funds for a variety of service organizations, and volunteering at local hospitals, the city mission, and Meals on Wheels. Now at this time, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Sammons, the National Junior Honor Society advisor. This is a candlelight ceremony. The 2020-2021 National Junior Honor Society officers are being announced today. Our secretary, Lily Barbosa. Treasurer, Anthony Muscatello. Pre uh, Vice President, Ava Spring. And President, Jordan Jones. Each officer will describe a quality and light a candle. I will be lighting the red candle. The red signifies knowledge. What has been learned, what is being learned, and what will be learned. There are five white candles. The five white candles represent the five qualities of the National Junior Honor Society. Scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Membership in the Scotia Glenville Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society is earned by the effective demonstration of the five qualities held in high esteem by the society. These qualities will be reviewed by the candidates. Scholarship will be read by Lily Barbosa. Scholarship is a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study because he or she knows the lasting benefits of a curious and cultivated mind. Learning is a continuous journey even when formal education has ended. Wisdom can be acquired through effort and dedication. It is the true hope of a true scholar that knowledge will be a never-ending feat. Anthony Muscatello will now review service.
those who serve others without thought of compensation, but rather out of their willingness to be of service. There is no reward quite like that of having been of service to others. Consistent service on the part of an individual in any society will not only bring trust and honor, but the joy of achievement. Jordan Jones will now review leadership. There can be no real leadership except by a student who has first learned to serve. Personality is developed as one participates in many activities. True leadership is the inspirational influence that comes to those who keep high ideals. A true leader must have initiative and strive to always help others in need. Ava Spring will now review character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives one individuality. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of action, daily striving to make the right choice. We must be truthful with ourselves and to others. By demonstrating such qualities as reliability, honesty, and sincerity, we hope to prove by example that we value character. Mr. Morgan will now review citizenship. Citizenship is vital to the strength of our country. It requires effort and commitment. Without it, there would be a lack of democracy. In the words of the late President John F. Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. It is the willingness for each person to participate responsibly in the affairs that govern America. Mrs. Sammons will now introduce each of the 2021 National Junior Honor Society candidates. Okay. As we read each name, candidates should come forward to receive their certificate from Mr. Cosmer. After every candidate has been introduced, please be seated, and we will then stand and recite the Honor Society Pledge. When you're receiving your certificate, Mr. Cosmer can't shake your hand, so you will just take your certificate. And if you could just stop here so we could get a picture so that you can have a remembrance of this for your parents and for yourself, that would be awesome. Okay, uh, after all inductees are read, we will do the Honor Society Pledge. Lily Barboza. Anthony Muscatello. Jordan Jones. Ava Spring, Isabella Adams, Christian Aragona, Ava Barrett. Allison Bartley, Anthony Bevilacqua, Olivia Brandau, Annabella Candida. Ava Card, Alasia Collins, Julie Cooper, Ian Corbett, Catherine Crouns. Nathan DeWitt, Kira Doman,
Jillian Edgar. Finn Farnan. Daniel Fiore. Joshua Ferment. Maya Getter. Angelo Goodell. Ethan Harris. Kiernan Heft. Emily Heiner. Ethan Higgins. Riley Holt. Riley Jankowitz. Henry Jones. Molly Jude's Ansley Keith Lucas Komarinsky Keely Crystal, Elizabeth LaPointe, Logan Link, Skylar Long, Perry Latano, Jack McIntosh, Emily Martin, Allison McLaughlin, Riley Mashevitz, Alice Nichter. Samuel Perkins, Hayden Phelps in absentia, Mia Pierotti, Jonathan Quayle, Colin Rainbaugh, Ethan Robar, Hayden Sladuski in absentia, Abigail Snyder, Austin Stark, Savannah Swataka, Owen Switz, Austin Talbot in absentia, Mark Taylor in absentia, Luke Timian, Olivia Trier, Lexi Tyranahan, Sam Watson, Mackenzie Westbrook, Morgan Westbrook, Aiden Weger. Okay, we 
we are now going to recite the Honor Society Pledge. It is taped on the back of your chair. If you could all stand and follow along with me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Congratulations. You may all be seated. Mr. Cosmer. All right, folks, I want to offer my congratulations to the following people. Students, you certainly worked hard. I want to offer my congratulations to mom, dads, grandparents, and guardians who have provided encouragement and motivation, and other relatives and friends who just knew that you could do it all along. You are now members of the National Junior Honor Society. We are proud of your accomplishments, and you have reason to be proud as well. Continue to strive for the highest goals and to exemplify the five qualities we reviewed this morning. Choose volunteer opportunities of which you can be proud. Work closely with your advisors and your officers. So in, please clo in closing, please join me with a round of applause for all you folks for the 2020-2021 National Junior Honor Society members. That's going to conclude our ceremony this morning. Uh, folks, again, just a reminder, if you have pinpoints, to give it to Ms. Lawyer. And period one starts in about an hour. Okay. <laughs>